Welcome back to News 5 at 10 o'clock. Now part three of our series, Allen's Road Trip. Tonight, Allen Carter takes a ride with Mobile City Councilman Fred Richardson. But it was when they got out of the car that things got really interesting. Councilman Fred Richardson is never short on words. Let it be said over every hilltop, every mountain, every river, every valley that Fred Richardson said. Exactly why he was a natural fit for this ride along series. I mean, you all yeah. are not playing. Because we wanted to know how he sees Mobile. Ugh. And right off the bat, Richardson led us to Trinity Garden. This is a affordable home subdivision. It's in the heart of his district. I'll make it left and take it to first Street. We parked and got out. We just see what the people are faced with. One of the biggest areas of concern for Richardson, these ditches along neighborhoods. For him, a nuisance and a safety hazard. They are afraid to allow their children to ride the bicycle because there was a car coming and it's, you, you can't get off. You can't get off the shoulders of the road. It's, it's, it's ditches. How many of these do you think that there are? 42. Or you counted, you counted them. You I have count 42 it. streets with, with open ditches. It's been a problem here for years. How you doing? Okay, I'm Fred Richardson, your council member. Yeah, it, that really, and I've been here right for 12 years. And ever since I've been here, they've been saying it's been closed as usual. Richardson believes he has a solution, a firm he met in D.C. that can find grants to get these ditches filled. Cost to the city, just $10,000. But Richardson says it's just been met with red tape. So I sent the contract to the mayor's office. Uh, for him to place it, because I can't place it, for him to place it on the agenda, and we gave him instructions to take the money from our discretionary funds. It has not been acted on. It's a type of problem Richardson says you wouldn't find in more affluent sections of Mobile. He points to a park in his neighborhood. You will not go to any swing set in a park in West Mobile and find this. Quite frankly, it does look more like a wasteland than a playground. No mulch, plastic coming through the dirt. I want, I want another set of swings over here. No grills or even benches. Do you see, do you see a bench anywhere? No, I mean, I guess you'd have to sit on those wood stumps there. I can put up some property. <laughs> Who gonna build a park? <laughs> Not a bench. But maybe most alarming... What is this? ...is what we found while we were out there. The pipe. That's certainly this is certainly dangerous. Wow. So you have you literally it's have for a children. It's for children. out in the middle of the playground here. It's, it's for children. To underscore his point, Richardson took us to Langan Park on the other side of town, which is in a little bit better shape. See all these kids going straight to somewhere to sit down. I asked if maybe the amenities were here because it's a more widely used park. Richardson says if you build it then people would come. I have no complaint about what they're doing here. I'm saying that we, the people in, in Trinity Gardens and uh, throughout the city, the people are deserving of the same amenities. Hearing all of that, it'd be easy to think that Richardson has a sour opinion of the city. But he says that's not the case. We ended our day looking over downtown. He says he just wants the city's potential to be realized. I love Mobile, no doubt about it. And it's keep, various people keep coming to the table with something different that's going to change the way we are and what we do. So I love it. I think, I think it's good. Fred, it's been a pleasure, man. I appreciate your time today, man. Certainly, Thank you so certainly. much. It was no a good time. I had fun. No doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> And after our ride with Richardson, we did follow up at that park in Trinity Gardens. You can see the picture here. It still needs some attention, but we made sure that that pipe had been removed. Now, I also caught up with the mayor afterward and asked him directly about Richardson's concerns about less attention and money being spent in poor communities. I, I kind of disagree with that uh, and that we're spending $3 million. Well, my question would have to be is that, you know, for 15 years, he's been trying to get ditches done in uh, Trinity Gardens, and it's only now that that's starting to happen while we're doing downtown. So we're doing both simultaneously. And so there's really not a complaint, or at least there shouldn't be a complaint, except for that they haven't been able to get them done until now. 
And now we have only two more road trips left tomorrow. I head to the beaches, saddled up with Orange Beach Mayor Tony Kinnon. Some interesting comments he had about this week's Hangout Festival, as well as their constant battle to deal with the traffic there. That's tomorrow night at 5 and 10 o'clock. And then Friday, one more with Mel Showers.